Welcome back. Let's go straight to the Eastern Conference where our beloved, our favorite, Go one and eight, guys. Raptors. One and eight. Let's go. The one versus eight. Go ahead. Raptors versus the Wizards. Who, who do we got here? Who do we got and how many games? Okay, first of all, I'd like to say that the context is different. Even though Wizards was the, the team that swept us yeah. out of three, four years ago. Yeah. And even though Wall and Beal are, they match our backcourt like superstar prowess, mm -hmm. the Raptors are a different team. We went into training camp. Dwayne Casey went into training camp with a team that was ISO, ISO dominated. And he changed the, the culture. Mm -hmm. He changed it into a ball movement team threes. And also, you, got, you can't forget about the bench mob. Yeah. And that it explains itself because they had the best franchise season. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, though, coming, I think the first game is going to be crucial because they're coming in with uh, a, like a loss, right? They're, they're in a losing streak. Yeah. But that first game is going to be crucial to set the tone. But I'm still going to go with the Toronto Raptors because when it's time to shine, there's DeMar, DeMar no DeRozan. Other, there's no other way to really go about this. Yeah. It gets, they've been, this, I think this is the best team they've ever mm -hmm. assembled for, in terms of the franchise history. Yep. And uh, surprisingly, it's a, their series on the season is 2-2. So they Oof. both have each other's number. But yeah. I think every playoff game is different. It doesn't matter what the season uh, happened in the regular season. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you just go tick for tack in terms of you know, the starting lineup of Toronto versus the starting lineup of Wizards, it's, it's pretty close in terms of their starting lineup. But what to make the difference is going to be their bench. Mm -hmm. The bench is just... I think if you give the sixth man of the year award, it should be the, the whole Toronto bench. <laughs> <laughs> just all of, just all of them come to Just all of them come... Yeah. You know, Siakam, Pirtle, yeah. Van Fleet, CJ Miles, Powell, uh, Baby Nagara, just everyone off that bench is just because any one of them can do a different combination of lineup and they can match up to any size. So, I mean, in this, in this situation, they're going to have going against Gortat and Markeith Morris, so mm -hmm. they're a little bit bigger, so they can go through that JV, yeah. uh, Ibaka, the Pirtle, and Siakam combination to kind of, uh, and I think that's a better, uh, they don't really have anyone on, on the Wizards in terms of their depth that can really go against the, the, the bench of the Raptors. So I actually would, I can see this as a sweep. If, if, Raptors, if the Raptors just stay That's in. payback. If they stay focused on what they do best and, yeah. they don't, and they don't freak out during the playoffs and they start doing isolation basketball, that, that's the only thing I'm worried about in terms of what the Raptors are going to do. But if they just stay on lane and, and just play the game that they've been playing the whole season, that spread the ball, ball movement, bench playing together, unselfish, I can see this as a sweep. A sweep? Yeah. I would love to see a sweep. My mm. thoughts on that. Bring the Wallace. The Wallace. I know, the, but the, again, the difference, like you said, is the bench. Like mm -hmm. the bench. Like in past playoffs, when Demar or even Kyle Lowry were out, did nobody. That could, yeah, there's no one. There's no I mean, one that could help. I, I forgot to mention the Lawn Wrights. Mm -hmm. You know, improvement too. That's like a whole. There's 12 team deep. It's hard. Yeah. It's, that's what you need in the playoffs. I know uh, most teams are. Most experts are saying. Once playoff starts, they shrink the rotation. But with the Raptors, how are you going to shrink a rotation that has 12 teams in terms of that can play mm -hmm. basketball, that can play NBA level basketball, not just NBA level, maybe playoffs too. That's what yeah. we'll find out. What's happening in the Raptor organization? We've got Lorenzo Brown to an MVP. Man. And he's been signed. He's been they it, signed for a contract. And they're calling him up like, Raptors, yeah. you're doing Biosteel? Yeah. What's in your drink? I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Uh, we got the second matchup, the two and the seven. It's going to be a good one, but unfortunately, we're going to have no Kyrie Irving throughout this series. So, Boston against Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Who you got winning and how many games? Okay. Even though the seed's 2-7, to seven, I'm going Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. with a I think this is, going to be, this is the first upset I think we saw yeah. like, that we, we might think that could mm -hmm. happen. Yeah. I'm confident with the upset. Just because of the injuries, even though Jason Tatum is a superstar in the making, he can't lift the whole team. Mm -hmm. But they're all missing... They're missing crucial players like yeah. they're Irving, Hayward, Hayward, Hayward smart, 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 right? Yeah. Thies or uh, Thesis. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ice. His Thies. name is Thies. 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 But they're missing a lot of players, and it's yeah. just sad because Boston was a big favorite going into the playoffs. And Milwaukee, come on. You know who it's I'm talking about. It's hard to go against, yeah. A god. <laughs> How are you going to go against the god? The Greek god. The and I think, it's, I think it's the first time that the Greek god can actually take his team all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals because... All the hard teams are on the other other side of the bracket, right? It's hard to go against, yeah, mm -hmm. a, a team like Milwaukee, who has the best player in the series right now. Mm -hmm. and, and like we mentioned, like in the playoffs, the stars becomes much more valuable than they've ever been in a regular season. So, yeah. 
you got the best player on the other team. And I feel like they also have the second best player with Chris Middleton. He's been so underrated. Yeah, people under. don't know his name, but he's, you know, people think he's average middle, but he's actually no, like legit. Like Middleton, he's not. <laughs> Middleton is yeah. a basketball he player. He can shoot, yeah. He, can, he, he does play making for them. He sets up Giannis a couple of times, and Jabari's back too. Bledsoe is Bledsoe. a good addition. This is a, this is a dark horse team in terms of how far they could go into the playoff. Yeah. And they have a pretty good robe in there. They don't have to face LeBron. So yep. they're going to go against Boston, and they can go against Toronto if they go past Or Washington, yeah. but I would say Toronto. Yeah. So this is a pretty good pass for them, a dark horse. Very good if, pass for them. Because they have a good matchup in mm. Boston. And I can see them winning this in six because I feel like they're still a little young, and yeah. the playoff experience is still not there. And I think Giannis still has so far to go. I, I'd see them winning at six just because Boston is a good defensive team, and they have a really good coach. That, yeah, that, so, that yeah. I think would do the X's and O's and would really have them focus and locked in defensively and would find a way to really have them score because which, that's something that they're going to struggle without Kyrie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm a Milwaukee on that Milwaukee. one. Upset. I'm, I'm upset, too. man. But how many games do you have on them? I got, I got them at, at, at six just because yeah. of how good Boston yeah, is. Yeah, I think so too. You got a, their co- Boston's coach. What's his yeah. name again? Um, Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens, yeah. yeah. Brad Stevens. Yeah. Let's go... This is one that's going to be a good one, too. Philadelphia versus Miami, three and six. We got winning and how many games? Three and six? Mm. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go Philadelphia. Philly, obviously, no upset here. Mm. Miami is a good team. They're, Miami's good because they have all good, solid players. Everyone's solid there, but they don't yeah. have a superstar. And when, it play, when it's playoff, when you're trying to get to the finals, when you're trying to get into the next round, it's all about having that extra juice. Philadelphia... Two superstars, obviously. Ben mm-hmm. Simmons playing unbelievable. Yeah. Ha- has amazing control. And you have Joel Embiid. He's obviously not going to be there in the first... You have an orbital fracture, orbital so fracture. he's going to fist. Yeah. He's going to come with the mask. And you know <laughs> what happened when Kyrie had a mask? He played nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, those are two players that are just hard to stop. Joel yeah. Embiid and Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons knows his game. He's, a, he's just... The feel for a game is crazy. So I feel like Philadelphia will have a, a good... A easy, not... I won't say easy because also the other context and the other theme of that is that they're young versus a very veteran squad. It's young versus veteran. So I'm going to say it's going to be a close game, but I'll still go with it for Philadelphia. Yeah, I'm actually going to disagree on this one. Okay. Just because I trust not the process. (laughs) I trust the veteran and, and the coaching of Alex Spolstra. Oh, like Mr. people Filipino. Have missed, like, uh, I'm a little bit biased now. <laughs> now people think I'm biased, but no, yeah. it, it, I trust his coaching style. I trust his, his in terms of how he run the team this year. He, every, nobody thought that Miami was ever going to be ever as important since LeBron left. Yeah. And Eric Spolstra has kept it all together. And he's had, you know, players that are no name. People have no idea who they are playing the best basketball of their career and playing you know, hustle, grind, they become the new uh, Grindhouse. Yeah, yeah. They become the new Memphis Grizzlies. And, and I feel like if this is going to depend on Embiid. If Embiid comes in anytime during the playoffs, this can make a difference. But I feel if, if Embiid doesn't make it throughout the first series, they're going to have a problem because, they're first of all, they're young. Their only veterans are Amir Johnson and J.J. Redick yeah. and maybe Bella Nelly and Ilya Sola. But their star players are young. They don't know how to play playoff basketball yeah they don't understand how important possessions each uh each possession is going to be like i mean turnovers ben simmons is prone to it he can't shoot free throws he can't shoot threes i think he's going to take advantage of that and if Embiid is not there hassan whiteside is going to you know dominate the paint and, and they just they might have the better numbers in terms of coaching i think i would give it to, even though brett brown's been good i would give it to uh, i would give it to spolter but i think this is going to go to seven a seven game series Okay, uh, yeah. next one, we don't have a lot of time. Cleveland versus it's, Indiana. I think this is an easy, easy one. Yeah, so. I'll say so too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but surprisingly, Patience has a number this, this season. Yeah. But we all know LeBron, it's a different beast when it comes to playoff time. Mm-hmm. And he's 12-0 and in the first round. So we're both uh, taking Cleveland. Yeah, even Old Depot is playing really good really basketball. Good basketball. Yeah. So we're going to take Cleveland. But I'm, I'm going to say this could go five, six, six games. Okay. I think Pacers is going to give it them some problems mm-hmm. if they don't if they don't start playing defensively because they've been horrible defensively they're also just Cleveland mo- they're, I mean Cleveland's been horrible defensively <laughs> yeah. they're just below Phoenix Suns or, I mean just a little bit above Phoenix Suns mm-hmm. and Sacramento has better defense than them and so if they don't get it together defensively they might go 6-7 games if they don't get it together 
Okay, yeah. well, we don't have a lot of time, so any shout outs before we end uh, this episode? Well, shout out to our fans that just keep watching us, following us through our pages on Twitter and Instagram, at Pinoy Crossover. You guys have been awesome. And, and I hope you guys keep watching and keep following us. Also on Facebook, all the Filipinos that are you know following us, not just here, but in the Philippines. Yeah. The SMBTC, all the players oh there. Oh, congrats to you guys again. And, and keep following us. And let's make this happen. Put Filipino basketball on the map. Yeah, and also Filipino opinions because we all know how basketball is played. We all have our opinions to basketball. So why don't you, you know, comment and join our discussion. So thank you guys for tuning in and stay balling.